Hello everybody. Today I'm going to share my experience of buying old school 9394 Magic cards from different stores. There are four major, major stores we're going to discuss today. They are Card Kingdom, ABU Games, Troll and Toad, and Star City Games. In no particular order. This video is going to be completely unbiased, but based on my personal experience. Obviously it is not sponsored, as you can guess. And I'm going to go through my experience of dealing with these stores. Uh, with some of them I have had uh, more than a decade of business. So I am going to mainly focus on buying, but we'll also tell you about buy listing, uh, which I have had uh, some experience of. And uh, as you will see, you know, a, a little spoiler for you. I'm not going to say that there is one store that is the best, but you can use the information I'm going to give you, which might help you to find the best store for each occasion. And if you are really careful, you will find some ways to, you know, save money when buying from some of these stores and also to get something that you wouldn't get in another store. So, you know, there is no good, simple answer to which of these stores is the best one. But obviously you will see once again, based on your particular situation, uh, which one you can really prefer. So, okay, let's go through Card Kingdom first. First of all, we're going to go through the basics, uh, through how this website works. And um, I also have to make a small disclaimer that today is the 3rd of May, 2020. You understand that these are very hard times. So obviously something can be a little bit different nowadays. I should tell you though that I did buy some of the cards from some of these stores uh, quite recently just uh, a month ago, a little bit more, and uh, these stores were operational. So I think that this situation that I'm going to talk about is going to be actual, even as of today. So once again, this is just a disclaimer because things really change, but I'm talking about my experience and uh, some of the recent experience as well. So Card Kingdom. This is a store that is focused on magic cards only. Of course, they do sell some of their production, but again, it's a magic store first and foremost. You have got advanced search. You can choose for different things, such as, as you can search for different things, such as rarity, color, identity, card, color, price, oracle, text, and so on and so forth. You cannot choose more than one edition if you just want to compare various editions. So you can choose only one. The website is pretty fast. I mean, how it is actually working. And uh, if you just look for something, it, it is, I would say, some of the, uh, maybe it is the fastest website, you know, in terms of how the server is working. You can filter cards by most popular names and prices ascending, descending. Uh, most popular is a very interesting, I would say, category. If you're just getting familiar with some sets, you want to see uh, whether you can get some staples, but I guess many of these things are going to be based on EDH. So as you can see, most popular from Fallen Empires, which is not a popular set by itself, it's High Tide, which is out of stock by Emmy Weber. Absolutely love this art, by the way. Rainbow Whale, High Tide again, Conch Horn, I am surprised. Uh, Fungal Bloom, Elvish Farmer, the guy who was recently bought out. Uh, okay, I digress, however, I digress. So this is what I can do if I want to search for cards. So I would say that's pretty neat. How the card works, it's also very important. So the way how card works is different in different websites. Here, what I have got, you see it's extremely fast, right? I can choose, let's say, uh, 10 copies of High Tide by Anson Maddox. I can easily add all 20 of them into my card. But what is actually happening right now is that I'm not adding anything. These are just cookies that are stored on this particular, um, well, on this particular computer. It's not even stored in my account. So if I go, and I'm not actually putting anything into cart, right? <coughs> As you can see, I have just opened an incognito tab, which means that we're using another cookies, set of cookies, I would say, and I want to buy the same. What did I buy? Wait, High Tide by Anson Maddox. 
Okay, so high tide balance and medics. Can we see 10 available? 10 available, just putting them, putting them here. I'm not going to say that this is going to be a major problem, but to be honest with you, this doesn't really mean that you add anything. Uh, you should think of it as, I don't know, just making a list of purchases you are going to make. And if you want to proceed to check out, of course you will have to log in, but this doesn't really mean that you're going to buy anything. And you can have the situation, you come back in uh, some time and somebody will buy this card, so they are on the first come, first serve basis. This can actually happen. I'm not saying this is a bad thing, I mean this is the pretty intuitive thing to do, I mean this is how most online stores, not only magic stores, work. And um, I think this is exactly the case with uh, Troll and Toad. So if I want to buy, let's say, High Tide, I promised it's going to be a long video, all right? So bear with me. High Tide, first of all, High Tide, Amy Weber art. Um, it's not $1, right? You can get it for for cheap, it's not 149. So again, what I'm saying is that you see there are some random situations, some buyouts. Card Kingdom, as you will see later on, is actually one of the cheaper stores here, but it is very, very uh, random when it comes to different cards. So as you can see here, you can easily buy this copy for you know much less than that. Um, right, so let's say I want to buy three of these put this into my cart. Oops, I think it's going to prompt me to actually log in. Or is it? No, it's not. Okay, I want to have 14 of these for three dollars, three dollars. Let me see if anything changes. Don't think it does. No, nothing changes, obviously. <coughs> what does change is the amount of cards in ABU. And I find this absolutely amazing. This is just a lot of attention to detail. So if I search for high tide, search for high tide. And by the way, I didn't know that they didn't really reprint high tide in any of the sets. That's very interesting. There was a promo. Okay, doesn't matter. What I'm trying to say is that if I want to just buy out like somebody did in Card Kingdom. High Tide. Eight High Tides near Mint. Five Blade. Seven Heavy Blade copies. And then I will use the Incognito window with no cookies stored. And okay, let's see then. You see, you see what happened. All right, you see what happened. I am going to refresh, and it's not it's not real time, but what is actually happening is that I have got these cards in my card, and it says your card will expire after 60 minutes of inactivity, and for a good reason. This is actually happening for a good reason because you are actually putting these cards into your card, and while these cards are in your card, nobody else can touch them. And this I find absolutely amazing, because maybe there is some kind of uh, situation where people are browsing and maybe they want to buy the same card. Well, I, I think this is, you know, a, a lot of attention to detail. Uh, if we refresh, I think we're going to see that... Uh, you see what happened? You see what happened? High Tide, Fallen Empires, they're actually not letting me uh, take this card out of another person's card and I cannot buy it, even though here I haven't actually paid just yet. And this is a very important thing. This is completely different from the other stores. I just wanted to point it out. This, I think, is a very interesting detail. As long as you do not abuse it, I hope nobody does. I mean, I haven't had situations like that. So that's what I wanted to share. Um, right, so also <laughs> let's talk briefly about Getting back to Card Kingdom, right? Getting back to Card Kingdom. Let's talk about the quality of cards, the quality of uh, pictures. So here you have got 
these not very high resolution but you know normal pictures and if i search for some high-end cards such as uh, juzam jin i think that we are not actually going to see a scan i might be wrong but i think that if we look for Bazaar of Baghdad, not going to see any scans. Well, Bazaar of Baghdad is not available anyway. Who can we get? Who can we get? Let's say we want to get uh, Serendipity Freight. Another high end card here. So you're not going to get the scans. I think if you actually mail them and ask for a scan, no problem, they will send it to you. This is what the stores usually do but you just don't have it available right here and uh, talking about card kingdom they have got a uh, very cheap shipping i mean shipping is usually free even for me as an overseas customer so this is what i really enjoyed about them and the customer support is usually more or less reliable not not extremely fast but i've had positive experience of working with them so that is Card Kingdom. The second one we're discussing is ABU Games. As you have noticed already, I did talk about uh, the card system in ABU Games. Of course, I will remove it all. Who knows, maybe somebody wants to buy some high tides real bad right now. So not going to hold it. Um, ABU Games, <coughs> as you can see, also gives you a selection of different editions. Here I can search for, okay, we can turn off English. It's just interesting that by default it only searches for English cards. So if you want non-English cards, just say all languages. And we will search for some card, let's say Goblin Digging Team. Goblin Digging Team. And you have got, as you can see, Magic Edition, there is card style, condition, language, tournament formats, quality in stock, price, and um, advanced card filters. Not really applicable to this one, but okay, it doesn't matter. So what I wanted to say is that here you have got some copies, some very, very high quality scans. Not for everything, because for instance, they don't get Italian in the dark, I don't understand why. Also, that's quite funny because Italian in the Dark uh, on ABU Games costs more than a near mint copy of the English the Dark. I don't know why. Because Italian in the Dark and Italian Legends should always be cheaper since people don't really uh, value them a lot. But we'll go through this a little bit later. You know, when it comes to ABU games, I've got some other cards to show you so that you understand the whole potential of this particular store when it comes to especially the more expensive cards. Now, uh, speaking of Troll and Toad, as you can see, we can um, just look for something. We can choose uh, different sets. You can also choose some particular, well, conditions. Uh, also, when it comes to conditions, I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot to talk about the conditions in uh, Card Kingdom. In Card Kingdom. Let's go for High Tide again. Card Kingdom, you've got four conditions. And these conditions are near mint. You've got EX, excellent, that is VG, very good and good. Okay. And of course, when it comes to conditions, it's always very subjective. Also, bear in mind that we're dealing with old school cards. When it comes to old school cards, like, you know, you're going to get more cards that are not in a very good condition. They are not gradable, obviously, very often when you get even a near mint copy. So, obviously, you should bear this in mind. Card Kingdom, for instance, is not a shop for collectors, I would say. It's more of a shop for players which I am personally, but still, sometimes I would like to get something else. And when I ordered different cars of different conditions from them, you know, it's, it's not 100% consistent, but of course the whole idea is usually there. When it comes to Troll and Toad, in terms of conditions, we have got Near Mint, you've got Lightly Played, you've got 
LP, as we say, we've got MP moderately played. Uh, you also have, depending on the card, poor condition, right? And uh, in Star City games, in Star City games, if we look for high tide, Star City games, if you look for high tide. Now with Star City games, it's very interesting because you should definitely um, narrow your results and you should sort by relevance because sometimes when you search for, for instance, I just recently searched for Phantom Monster and you will get Phantom and Monster, uh, you know, separately. And if you, for instance, use price descending, you will get a lot of cards that are monsters or phantoms, but not Phantom Monster. So make sure that you sort by relevance here. As you can see, High Tide, Amy Weber. What they're doing here, so they also have Near Mint, they've got Blade, and yeah, I think that is it when it comes to the low end cards, not the very expensive cards. And um, of course, they also have other conditions. What I really don't like about the new system, again, this is, uh, I think, yes, I think this is the new system, is that they treat, maybe it's not, I'm sorry if uh, I'm wrong here. <coughs> they treat each card in each condition as a separate card right well to me personally you know to be honest with you uh, the same card in uh, near mint and played it, it, it is still high tide by and medics right but they treat it like this and there is no way to consolidate them as far as i can see so you can also sort by best selling i guess this is what we call popular wow so <laughs> you see results for high tide Ultimate God Katana Sleeves. How is that high tide? I do not know. Doesn't really matter. So, speaking of the pictures that they provide, you have to click on the card to really see the picture. The picture is actually low quality, I would say. Nothing really <coughs> pleasant here. Um, So let us move on. Uh, for our case study, we are going to have various stores with the same card. For example, the first card is Counterspell. I'm just going to see how many different copies you've got. Uh, how many copies they have in stock of each edition, which one is cheaper, uh, which one is better to buy and where, and what additional options you have got. So let's go through that. So the first one is counter spells, you can see. We got an alpha copy. Card Kingdom, offering a near mint. Again, not sure if it's gradable or not. Near mint copy, $750. Uh, very good. I'm not sure how these things should be correlating. I'm not sure that very good is the same as, let's say, moderately played. You know, don't ask me about that. I'm not an expert on this. But okay, supposedly they should be the same. I mean, near mint should be near mint in all stores. In uh, ABU games, surprisingly, near mint is much cheaper. A graded card, but this is not a you know perfect graded card. This is 7.5 graded. As for 517 played, you always have got the pictures, which I absolutely like. They scan all the more or less high-end cards. I guess maybe over $100, something like that. You should also take a look at this if you want to see. For example, other it's called very HP, very heavily played and it's a, a very beaten and almost dead card um, but they still took the time to, to scan it all uh, which I really appreciate so what I really like a, a little digression here again you know they do actually have not this one but if you go here they do actually have proper scans of foil cards which is not something that stores usually do because here, if you look, you see the proper shooting star. And it, it, this is not just a, I would say, this animation. This is not just a foil overlay that many other stores do. So, you know, 
again, just talking about how ABA games work, uh, they really take care of the cards. Uh, it's really something that collectors should enjoy, and um, they really go out of the way to to show you what you are going to be getting. So you see, even for the cheaper cards, even for the cheaper cards, such as uh, this International Edition Counter Spell, only thirty-five dollars. They are going to provide a picture. It's very nice, I guess. Um, right, so moving on, let's see if you can get an alpha counter spell from Troll and Toad. In Troll and Toad, okay, let's talk about it because it is very important. You should understand that Troll and Toad is not just one store. I mean, there is one store, but the thing is that you've got different merchants here. And these merchants, so let's take counter spell from bid down, right? You've got different merchants offering you the same item. So the one that is actually provided by Troll and Toad themselves, which is in stock at Troll and Toad, is this one. So you see the icon of Troll and Toad. And you have got different merchants. As it actually works, I should say, is uh, this becomes a platform for people to sell their singles for, I would say, some smaller stores. And uh, this is maybe something similar to TCG Player. So it's not that these people are by listing to Troll and Toad. Uh, they are selling directly from Troll and Toad and Troll and Toad is obviously having some small commission from that. And please pay attention to these because some of these can be completely delusional. Right, you've got, for example, this one, the Cat Merchant. You've got this Mercadia City, you've got the Owl Merchant, and uh, I, I mean there are many different merchants, as you can see there is the Mouse Merchant, and if you look at Counterspell from Revised, you can see that this one, this is $6, almost $7, completely delusional, compared to Troll and Toad themselves, so you know, if one day you go to Troll and Toad and you see some card sold by some individual merchant, and this can be three times as high and you can just fall into a trap because the card will be out of stock uh, in Troll and Toad store themselves. And so you should be extremely careful when you are buying from these merchants. Most of them are fine, but some of them you just see what, what kind of price difference they have got. If they become monopolist, and I'm not saying that this particular merchant is, is bad because if you look at um, the price for some some cards it is not more expensive than the others if you look at for instance this one right it's much more expensive so always should keep this in mind that there is no so to say silver bullet no there is a maybe a silver bullet there is no one universal solution for uh, browsing uh, uh, you know on troll and total maybe some other store so there are plenty of these merchants, plenty of these merchants. Usually um, what happens if you buy from a merchant, you have to um, wait maybe a couple more days uh, for the merchants to ship actually their cards. And uh, sorry for the jump cut. So as I was saying, speaking about these merchants, you know, beware, beware. But also pay attention to them, you shouldn't be actually worried if you buy of some of these merchants because it's it's totally fine it will just take a couple more days to compile your order and it will be still um, sent to you so if you want to buy a counter spell from card kingdom as i said alpha yes pretty expensive beta a little bit cheaper unlimited out of stock for some reason if you want to game get unlimited from ABU games, how much would this cost us? Um, not much. This is probably the cheapest copy of Unlimited. Let's actually see. Can we get Unlimited here? Do not think so. I don't think so that we can get Unlimited copy here. Oh wait, I'm sorry, we can. We can, it's a uh, played copy MP for $36 in this one. Unlimited is out of stock, uh, but you can, surprisingly, you can get a heavily played copy for only $20. For only $20, whereas here it will be a little bit, oh no, wait, 
Here we've got a very HP copy, very HP copy with a scratched, I would say, back. Uh, not sure if it qualifies as damaged. The front is pretty good, by the way. Uh, some minor marks on the white border here, but overall it's fine. And the back, I mean, it is leaf playable, what do you want? So it is still the cheapest copy you can get, still the cheapest one you can get here much more expensive for an MP copy. And here for some reason, you know, this random, random buyouts and... Uh, okay, if you like collector's edition, not many people do, I know I do, for the more expensive cards, obviously, which I wouldn't get in Unlimited, for instance. Here, collector's edition, ABU Games, uh, we've got ICE, International Collector's Edition, out of stock, one copy for $34, uh, near mint, $38, almost, $38, here, you see, you see the, the difference in prices, here CE on Troll and Toad is much cheaper, a near mint copy is only $25, here you can, cannot even get for $25 a plate copy, of course, you see here, it is much cheaper, right? It's twenty twenty one dollar. Mm. You understand that the price formation is it's all very complicated, especially when we talk about cards that are being available in limited amounts. Um, these cards are pretty scarce. We're all talking about uh, each store carrying less than a dozen, dozen very often of the same card. Um, so, you know, price regulation mechanisms, uh, buy listing also depends on what kind of bonuses they're offering uh, on, um, you know, cashback programs, things like that. It is all much more complicated than what you think. Um, so anyway, here I would say Star City Games here is in the middle. Card Kingdom, if we talk about collector's edition, again, collector's edition only is the cheapest option and uh, this one is also somewhat in the middle if you don't of course buy from this sixty dollars ridiculous and abu games yeah so you see you see again there is no one best answer if we talk about alpha okay don't get a near mint alpha from card kingdom uh get it from maybe this one why not right um, but if we talk about collector's edition this one is almost twice as cheap as some other stores okay uh, moving on moving on what other edition can we look at about the revised one we have already talked but only in troll and toad if we talk about revised here on star city games also carrying alternative fourth edition by the way you should notice okay third edition revised out of stock out of stock card kingdom revised not out of stock pretty cheap if you want but surprisingly fourth edition is out of stock what is happening this might be this might be actually the current situation we're facing right now because Many stores are not actually buying the cards, they're not processing the buy list orders, so it can be much more complicated than we think. But then again, this situation was pretty common when I was buying cards in the, you know, normal, calm and uh, somewhat idealistic times, if we look back at them nowadays. Um, anyway, let's say I want the third edition counter spell from ABU Games. ABU Games counter spell revised 1.65. Here, pretty similar, pretty similar. Okay. Mm, card Kingdom still beats them in terms of the cheapest card. But mind you, Counterspell is uh, a card that is more or less desirable. It is not a bulk card. And we'll get to the bulk cards a little bit later. So that you can see how it works. <coughs> I'm just trying to see if I'm being objective because 
sometimes, especially with the new system Star City games have got, uh, it's very difficult to actually find the right card in the right uh, edition, so I just wanted to make sure that it didn't skip anything, but I didn't. And comes to count as well. Now, an interesting case is a card from Fallen Empire. So, how are they going to treat a card with the same card name and the same set but different artists? That is interesting. I wanted to talk about it briefly. So, here, as you can see, Card Kingdom, three different pieces of art. I'd say my favorite one is probably by Ron Spencer. I'm not sure, but this one is also nice. I mean, they're all nice, they're all nice, like all of them. Um, Card Kingdom does it without any intricacies, so the same price for all of them. And this is the cheapest you can get for a common card. It is the cheapest that you can pay for a common card on Card Kingdom. Only depends on the condition. Near Mint, 25 cents. Excellent, 20. Very good, 18. And 13. And this is a playable card, I find it surprising. Only 13 cents. I mean, even when I started playing Magic back in the year 2000, we wouldn't pay 13 cents even for a bulk card, let alone a playable common. I'm not even talking about 1994, we couldn't even imagine getting cards from 1994 back then. But okay, I digress. So here, as we can see, Goblin Grenade. Uh, doesn't matter what art you're going to get, um, it is the cheapest the cheapest one you can get. However, however, the Anthologist card is much more expensive. It's just a smaller set, a smaller print run, much more expensive. Doesn't matter, we're not interested in Anthologist right now. Let's just assess the situation. By the way, no, we're interested in Anthologies. Uh, here, the Near Mint copy of Anthologies is less expensive than a Card Kingdom. Anyway, Fallen Empire's Goblin Grenade doesn't really depend on the picture. The price is the same, but as you can see, much more expensive than, than Card Kingdom. For the not very playable, but still, you know, not the cheapest. They're not treating it as a bulk card, because you will see, uh, if we take some bulk card, bulk cards will be cheaper than just 60 cent here on ABU Games. So, for example, you can take a look at different signed cards they have got. I, I guess they are all the same. They do have the individual cards. They do have the individual scans. Oh, wait, this is Dan Fraser. Yeah, I absolutely love it. So, Dan Fraser, <laughs> I, I love altars by him. You know, when he signs a card, he usually is extremely creative. Um, as you can see, you've got some glasses, you've got some smoke coming here, and uh, this can be had for eight fifty nine, which is not very expensive. Here you can see he, he, he gave this goblin some black teeth and some extra you know, some art extension, so to say. And this is by the original artist, mind you, which is very important. This can only be seen here in ABU Games. That's why I'm saying that ABU Games is probably the best store for a collector who wants to get some rare, maybe, there are also misprints. Uh, this is, you know, in the misprint community, people tend to be very serious about what a misprint is, what a miscut is. This one is not considered to be a miscut. Why not? For a very simple reason, because this one doesn't have the second part of card showing. I mean, it doesn't have the second card showing here. It is cut, you know, not properly, but in order for it to be a miscut, it should be showing a tiny portion of the next card. So, unfortunately, this wouldn't really fetch a big premium. And here they want $20 for this. I mean, I would probably personally have the amazing fun signed card by Dan Fraser than this one. Uh, the second misprint, again, it's just a slightly... This is an off-centered card, and the only thing that happens with it is that it will get terrible marks if you want to grade it. Not that you would want to grade a Goblin Grenade, anyway. So, 
don't take it too seriously. You know, if there are real misprints, they will be much more expensive, and especially with vintage cards, probably you're not going to find them here. I mean, I have looked many times, but have not found. Anyway, guessing back to Goblin Grenade. Let's see how much Goblin Grenade is worth here. Mm, so is it the same art, the same price? No, it is not. Because version 3, they're not saying which artist it is. 59, 39 and... Well, I'm sorry. And 49. Right, so this one is supposed to be the most expensive one. This is my favorite piece of art, I would say, here. This, of course, doesn't matter, but... Mm, feels a bit random. Finally, Star City Games. Goblin Grenade. Dan Fraser. Near Mint out of stock. Queries to Fair Rush. Near Mint out of stock. Ron Spencer. Near Mint out of stock. Only 49. For some reason, they don't like their Ron Spencer art. You see how random it is. And here we're talking only about one card. Of course, it can be different of, I don't know, 50 cents, maybe a little bit more. But if you're buying a lot of cards and if you have different cards that are much more expensive, the difference between them can be huge. We're talking 50% or something like that, or even maybe more. And if you're buying many cards, this is something to look at and think about. <coughs> So this was the case of Goblin Grenade talking about different arts, um, how cheap this is or not. I mean, only on Card Kingdom we could find this card, uh, irrespective on the, uh, of the art, uh, for the same price, surprisingly. And it was as cheap as a bulk common. Right, let's go to the high-end stuff. Tundra. I wanted to look for a dual land. Something that everybody usually wants, obviously, in old school. And uh, let's see what they're offering in terms of these lands. So as you can see, ABU Games also has Summer Magic, but don't really expect to find any of these. Uh, they don't really have a proper scan. As you can see, there's not a scan that was made by their team. It's not that they're carrying a lot of Summer Magic. When I looked it up recently here on ABU Games, they only had a couple of cards from Summer Magic. Uh, and it's not that people are really going to go and look for Summer Magic here, I would say. Uh, so anyway, they do have some graded cards. Alpha can be had as a heavily played card for uh, 4,600 here and it is pretty much the same. I'm not sure whether excellent is the same as their heavily played. I would guess that heavily played is worse. Let's actually see. Yeah, I, I don't think that this would qualify as excellent in another one. So maybe Card Kingdom is a bit cheaper here. Uh, Troll and Toad recently hasn't really been carrying a lot of high-end, most expensive cards. Perhaps I have dealt with Troll and Toad a lot. And this was the very first shop I started to do business with uh, back in 2008 and um, what I want to say that however however you know to their advantage because this is a store that helped me a lot you know when I had some problems with my order they just blindly trusted me and refined me on the order this was uh, a mistake of the uh, USPS and it was not their mistake, but they still helped me. Uh, so, you, you know, I really value them. This is a very nice uh, story. It feels good to, to be browsing here, the, the cards, and uh, it, it is just a pleasant store. Also, they have a lot of non-magic stuff, such as this one. How cool is that? <laughs> but anyway, you can get non-English cards from Troll and Toad. You can get this nice black-boarded card. Um, the cheapest one you can get a revised Tundra is $200 for an MP copy. Uh, let's see what they have to say. That is not even close. As you can see, not even close. Uh, you can not have any revised Tundras currently from them, from ABU Games. You can have a German white-boarded. It's a not very desirable, as you know. German black-boarded, much more expensive than here. We're talking about German black border again. 
This one is poor, however, and this one is played, so also not perfect. Our Kingdom does not have black boarded. Uh, revised, the cheapest one can be held for $207. So that is an interesting case, isn't it? Isn't it? So far, when we were talking about Troll and Toad, Troll and Toad has not um, you know, demonstrated themselves as the cheapest store, but if you want a played copy, and this is an MP copy, there's not even poor copy, you can have it for less than or Card Kingdom, which is typically one of the cheapest stores here. And also you have a ton of copies, so that is interesting, isn't it? Star City Games, what do you say? Um, well, first of all, I do not understand how this is price descending, because this is certainly not descending when it goes from <laughs> 600 to 800. Uh, all right. All right, I get it. Maybe it's based on the condition that it is sorted. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, sorry for checking out the recording software all the time. I really don't want this one to stop and be doing this again uh, in the middle of the night. But I really felt like sharing this with you because I just recently bought a ton of new magic cards. The cards that I don't have. I mean, old school new stuff for me that I still don't have. Some of it have fallen empires and yeah many many things so i i wanted to share this you know information that i've got so revised what is the cheapest one and again you're in for a surprise because star city games that as we have seen once again are typically not the cheapest store they have the third edition revised heavily played but still it is a card you can play it perfectly tournament legal for 180 180 so star city games surprisingly surprisingly wins because so far they have not been the winners isn't that interesting isn't that interesting so again what i'm saying and i'm going to reiterate this you know you check the current set of cards that you have check your wish list think what cards you need and what editions you need them how many copies what languages stuff like that and if you're really careful even even if you do have some shipping charges very often you will usually save more money if you buy from different stores rather than ordering from one store even you know with some extra shipping charges if you buy from maybe two or three stores rather than buying from one this of course depends on your uh, dollar amount okay so collector's edition collector's edition Let's see, 180, ABU Games, ABU Games, much more expensive. Don't buy Collector's Edition from ABU Games, I guess. This is what we could say. Uh, collector's Edition, don't really, they don't really care a lot of Collector's Edition recently, Troll and Toad. Collector's Edition from here, 199, uh, much more expensive than Card Kingdom, so I guess no. Unlimited. Many of you like Unlimited as opposed to Revised, and I can understand why. So an EX copy can be had for 560. Uh, unlimited from this one can be had, well, cannot be had at all, but normally it is. Mm. Wow. I mean, it's very rare to get a good copy. Good is usually poor by some other store standards. Um, you know, just if you want to play, this would be much cheaper. But it's very rare that you can get a copy like that from Card Kingdom. Here, unlimited, 700. I mean, what? That's pretty sim similar, yeah. I guess that's pretty similar if it's really a near mint copy. Unlimited from you, gentlemen, um, 399, heavily played, just played 600, and um, 800 would be for a near mint copy, 800 for a near mint copy. Mm, so, okay, you get the picture of these. Now, let's move to some sets. For instance, you want to complete some of your 
Z, such as Arabian Nights, and you're lucky if you can actually afford that. But let's take a look at this. So I sorted these cards by uh, the highest price, and also we pay attention to what is in stock. Here, I suppose, I am not entirely sure, but I'm afraid you cannot hide the cards that are not in stock on Card Kingdom. You can do that on ABU, but on this one, no, I think you cannot. Okay, so Juzam Jin. Juzam Jin, Jin, an iconic card from Arabian Nights. You can get a played copy signed by Mark Tidin. And that is very interesting that for the most expensive cards, but not necessarily for the most expensive, for some other cards as well, you can get um, Mint and Near Mint. I think that Mint is what uh, many people would call gradable, and it's interesting because Near Mint, very often, very often, Near Mint is exactly the same as Mint. It, it would be, you know, perfect, but here they needed to emphasize the condition, so they charge a premium for the mint cards and you will see in many cases if it's, these are some cheaper cards the difference between a mint and near mint copy can be i don't know almost five times as much that is very interesting but we do understand how difficult it is to find you know absolutely minty conditions of these cards um so okay very good i guess this is uh what played something like this so ribbon knights uh card kingdom Chosen Gen is much cheaper than ABU Games uh, Magic Card. See image for condition. Oh, okay, this is what they do. See image for condition. I think this is. Yeah, it's a bit clumsy how they put it here. How can you see the image? Oh, like that. Click to enlarge. Okay, yeah, it is a proper scan. You can see the scan here. Uh, you can save five dollars. These things don't make sense to me. I mean, they look like some kind of promotion but I don't know if you raise the price I don't know ten dollars compared to other stores and they say save for five dollars I I don't feel that it works for magic cards it can work I don't know for a Mars bar for example but for a high-end magic card probably not um, okay so what about our friends here at Star City Games You cannot even sort by price in the new website of Star City Games, which many people dislike because they unfortunately removed. I mean, they they definitely did the start. They, they definitely did the site from scratch, and they removed many of the features that were present in the previous version, which is a shame. Such as. Uh, going through different criteria and sorting. So, okay, Jusam Jin is out of stock. Mm, what about King Solomon? $70. Okay, we want King Solomon, let's say. We want King Solomon. King Solomon. King Solomon, here is the cheapest, I think. Here, King Solomon. Much more expensive. The cheapest copy is still much more expensive. And notice this is not even the worst condition that you can have. Uh, King Solomon. Always wanted to have a King Solomon. Was thinking about buying him before this bike a long time ago, just for fun because I love the art by I love the art by Mark Poole. Uh, King Solomon. What is wrong? I did write King Solomon, didn't I? Destroy target gene on the fleet. Mm would be so nice in my... Yeah, I think I wrote the name correctly, didn't I? Oh yeah, it says hide out of stock, so... No surprise here. Star City Games, King Solomon, as we said, 169 for the cheapest one, 100 for the more expensive copy, but here the more important, the more, I'm sorry, expensive card is uh, still more expensive. Okay. Right, so you get the idea about the prices of uh, such editions as uh, Arabian Nights. Then we want to look at some bulk, basically. And we did go through the 
not so expensive Fallen Empires, but still we wanted a playable card, which was Goblin Grenade. And we found out that for Card Kingdom it didn't matter that this card was uh, playable. They still rated it as any other common. You know, it was the cheapest price. And here let's take a look at Phantom Monster. Now, for ABU games, you'll get some rather nice surprise. And it probably looks like that I'm, you know, arguing that uh, ABU games is the best of them all, but I'm not, I'm not. I, in many, on many occasions, I'm not going to buy from ABU games, I would buy from Card Kingdom, maybe even Troll, Troll uh, and Toad sometimes, and Star City games also. I sold a lot of Star City games, that's why I did uh, some purchases from them, because they were actually the shop that buys uh, non-English cards, sometimes at a premium, such as Japanese and Russian cards, so I did buy a list to them quite a lot of cards, so I had to buy from them some of my old school stuff. Um, so anyway, Phantom Monster, definitely not a staple, definitely not a staple. For third edition, it is the same price for Card Kingdom, always, 25 cent. But, as I said, for maybe you games, much cheaper. Heavily played, just 10 cent, 10 cent. You can get 10 cent here. The lowest you can get is 13 cent. Not that it matters, but just a very interesting... Um, oh, wow, that is nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is a signed card. Again, you can get very cheap commons from ABU games, even though they too take... Uh, a lot of, I would say, maybe individual approach to every card. So, Star City Games Phantom Monster revised 25. Mm, sounds fair. Sounds fair. They've got alternate 4th edition. If you don't know what it is, uh, it has a slightly purplish, purplish back as opposed to a bluish back. And uh, the circle I'm in here. So, <coughs> and uh, it doesn't react to the light in the same way, but yeah, they're offering it. Right, so that's Phantom Monster from the third edition. If we want a Phantom Monster from, let's say, Beta, maybe, just as an example. Okay, Beta, Phantom Monster, Beta, Phantom Monster. Mm, how much is that going to be? Depending on the condition, 13 for the most expensive one, only $8 for the worst condition. Beta Blue Star City Games is much more expensive here, as you can see in terms of percentage. Uh, but the heavy plate copy is uh, cheaper. So you see again, it depends on the condition. Every individual card depends on the tier of the card you're going to get. Uh, beta, they're currently carrying only this one. Nine could be as cheap as five dollars for a bad copy, and a good copy would be. Yeah, I, I guess it is. It is pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Maybe a tiny bit cheaper, but again, they're not carrying all the conditions in stock right now. <clears throat> and here, a very interesting surprise again. So that's why I say always watch out for all of these. They've got, and I wish I had seen it earlier, Phantom Monster Japanese. I really like the black boarded, foreign black boarded cards. I do have some of them. And they have foreign black boarded for an amazing price of 20 cent. So you can get, but again, we've got this cat merchant, the things that some people are going to buy it for $3, $3. Can you see the price difference here? 25 cent versus three dollars uh, absolutely amazing but if you want to get phantom monster from troll and toad the cheapest you can get it for is 49 cent 49 cent this is simply amazing i remember a time was a long time ago when i first started buying my magic cards that every card at troll and toad was 49 cent if you buy some bulk from some newer set 49 cent why because the cost of the card is not just the value of this card to the consumer, I guess this was the rationale back then, but it's also the sorting process, because people are paid for sorting 
based on the number of man hours that is spent on sorting cards and even the bulk cards that you are having for zero dollars really maybe even somebody gave you some bulk for free and you just paid for shipping still people have to sort them so this was the initial rationale but now i i, I guess this is different so you can get them you know much cheaper but still revised phantom monster interestingly enough is more expensive here than in some other places <clears throat> so that's what i wanted to say i think this is uh, really interesting uh, if you talk about english cards the last thing we are going to talk about is the non-english uh, cards the non-english cards for instance italian legends many people don't like italian legends i can understand why but for some of us myself included they are the only uh, way to get some of these very very nice and desirable cards and troll and toad surprisingly are maybe one of the best stores to get italian cards from italian the dark and you know italian legends i got a lot of these cards from them because here you can see that you can have angus mckenzie the italian one for 60 dollars abu games angus mckenzie italian much more expensive much more expensive i'm sorry this is the <laughs> english version still much more expensive i was right you see mint one the mint one is 116 dollars a mirror universe still more expensive than um troll and toad troll and toad mirror mint 83 for italian mirror universe this one even the plate copy is more expensive than the new mint copy at troll and toad Star City Games pretty much, I would say, stopped uh, really bothering about Italian cards, including Legends. So they only have Mirror Universe, which is 99, and Eureka Nether Void. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. But Troll and Toads still carry some stock. Um, All Hollow's Eve for $99. All Hollow's Eve for less than that. Again, why? How does it happen that Angus is much cheaper? This one is more expensive. So this is what I wanted to say. Bottom line, bottom line, um, of course, I think that getting such cards from your maybe local store, if you have a good relationship with them and if you have some good prices, because in my personal experience, buying from an LGS is usually much worse than buying, unfortunately, from a major store. Buying from some people on Facebook or from eBay, even though you have to be careful, normally, of course, is fine, and they will offer you better prices than these. But if you just want to get a bunch of uh, random comments, uh, maybe some particular cards, some particular conditions, uh, there is no best answer. We have analyzed ABU games, Star City games, um, Troll and Toad and Card Kingdom. We came to a conclusion that each of these stores can offer much more competitive prices on some particular cards than the other. And this is, I think, something that you should take into consideration. So this video is obviously very long. If you have got some comments about that, and actually thank you and congratulations on watching the whole video if you really did. Um, I would like to ask you if you have any stories to share uh, of dealing with these stores of buying old school magic cards, uh, maybe from some other store, or maybe you would just like to ask me some questions about these stores. Uh, you are very welcome. So this was my video, and um, I will see you around uh, with more videos. This kind of topic of finance and so on is not something that I usually uh, deal with, but this time we decided to talk about it. So I hope you appreciate it. That is all for today. Um, I will see you around. Bye.